brothers and sisters who walk this blue line every day and night and do so many brave things with every call for service that they answer and do not receive such an honor as this. The ones who walk away from their families every day to go to their ship during the day, during the afternoon, and during the night to stand between good and evil and protect those who can't protect themselves. It hurts my heart how some of them have been treated in recent events lately. It hurts my heart to know that there's a darkness that follows when we make decisions to act and not everybody truly understands that it's never over when the cameras go off. There's a darkness and a real fight that follows that many people don't know about. So as honored as I am to receive this prestigious award, I'm also hurting. Because the award that I'm wearing around my neck, this medal, it doesn't dry the thousands of tears that came from my eyes, from the eyes of my children, from the eyes of my husband, my grandmother, my parents, and those eyes of the families that belong to all of the officers who've been in the similar situations as I have. It was a price that we continue to pay, that we will continue to pay for as long as we live. And it's a choice that we all make knowing that we could be exactly where I was on October the 26th and we still go and we still answer the call. So it is for all of you, my brothers and sisters, that have never been honored in this way that I accept this award. Chief Rex Evans, Officer Myra Cardenas, retired police officer Robert Elder, Officer Alan Montoya, and everybody else who's walked in my boots. I wear this for you, I accept this for you, I share this with all of you, with all my art. Semper Fi, thank you so much. Fire, shot fired, I'm hit. All right, I'm still conscious. I'm going to, uh, he's pulling out of this, uh, in. Hold on.
making a left on the blue bonnet. A left on the blue bonnet. Right 